Oh heck. Hey guys, it's me, Lamol from ADHD Aquatics. Oh, whoops, I wasn't looking at the camera hole. Hey guys, it's me, Lamol from ADHD Aquatics. I'm just here to give you like a quick little intro. Um, the footage following this footage is gonna be... The footage following this footage is gonna be my buddy my good fishy friend Wayne's fish house. He's got fish tanks all over. He's got a fish room. He's got fish tanks in his bedroom, fish tanks in his spare room. He's got a big huge pond outside, even though I didn't get any footage of that, sorry. He's got fishies all over his kitchen and dining room. It's super cute. And um, he breeds betta fishes and guppies and platies and mollies and yeah, guppies and shrimp and pleco fish, pleco plecostomuses, pleco. How did the lady say it on Google Translate? No, on Google Pronunciate, she said plecostomus, plecostomus. <laughs> if you Google like how to pronounce uh, pleco or whatever, it will say that. So I just want to let you guys know that um, he said it was okay to post it and. To my YouTube but I wanted to do like a formal introduction and say hey guys this is my friend Wayne and he's local to me and he's a really nice guy and he breeds very beautiful betta fish and he has very good contacts for um, betta fish overseas like importer guys and a trans shipper and everything so what he likes to do is he'll order like a bunch of betta fish like he'll find one that he likes and then He'll get the seller or the breeder that's overseas in Thailand to send pictures of of the um the other ones, the other betta fish that they have. And he'll send it out to all his fishy friends and say, Hey, do you want any of these? And then we basically order it together and it makes it cheaper and then we split the shipping and split all of it or whatever. So he gets really cool rare betta fish from from Thailand and stuff, which are like direct from the, I guess like in Thailand, that's where they do like all the cool stuff with betta fish. Like if there's a new strain or a new trait or something, they're over there discovering it. So he gets all of those. And I actually just bought three today. Hold on, let me show you. Okay, so this one here is one that Wayne bred. This isn't one of the ones that he just ordered that had just come in. So hold on, let me put a light on him. So he's very beautiful. Can it not focus on him? There we go. You can kind of see a little bit of it. He's beautiful. Here's one of the ones that he ordered. This is a copper metallic, oh, something. Wayne's gonna have to comment and say what it is. I forget the name of it or I'll pin a comment. But it's very beautiful. Um, they obviously just got done getting shipped from Thailand, so they're a little stressed out right now. They haven't done their glow up. We got some almond leaves in there. Tomorrow I'll be putting them in a 10-gallon, uh, separate 10 gallons. Um, so we'll be able to see them. But. But yeah, so just wanted to do like a little introduction thing. And um, I actually just got off of being live with Father Fish. So you can see that video on my playlist called Featured On. So anytime I appear on someone else's channel or whatever, I'm going to add that video to that playlist. Um, obviously, if I appear on that person's channel, then I recommend you follow them if you like fishy stuff. But I feel kind of bad because I didn't um, I didn't talk about these amazing betta fish that I got from Wayne on Father Fish. I was just super overwhelmed and like super excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I told all my friends, I was like, you guys, this is my first, like, real, like, thing for YouTube, like, it's a big deal for me, um, Father Fish is super cool, and I just, I just love his content, and, like, all of his knowledge, and his experience, and everything, um, so I got super overwhelmed, and excited, and I actually kind of have a headache, like, because I was so, like, anxious and nervous, but I was just bouncing around like I forgot to even talk about half of my stuff that I got going on but um 
So I wanted to give a formal apology to Wayne. I'm sorry I didn't mention your beautiful betta fish and breeding skills on father fish. And this video should serve as an amazing testament to your skills and as a fish keeper and your passion as a hobbyist. And also homage to the betta fish and how most beautiful babies they are. Okay, so you guys enjoy that footage. It's coming up right, right now. And don't forget to put like and subscribe and press the bell and click on all so that you can see all my notifications and stuff. Because once I get a uh, thousand subscribers, I'm gonna be going live and stuff. It's gonna be super fun. Okay, bye. They're so cute. And you need to come and buy some guppies. Oh yeah, I gotta get the yellow guppies. Well, have a look at that tank up there. That was probably from me pressing the button. These are really cute. I have bad problem at the moment with snails. Oh, just just leave them. They're uh, good. They're good for you. You can sell them. Oh uh, yeah. I mean the. The, the ram's horns, I know, but not when near the bladder. Oh. I like these little fat ones. How can you tell that the betta fishes were going to be small on that one video I sent, or the picture I sent you? Um, by looking at them, I'll, I'll show you the difference. I just got off my friend the Lisa. Yeah. Uh, and I said, Lisa, she's on her way. I don't want to be telling her that they're small <laughs> well, and less agreeing with me. And if you don't agree with me, then I'll say, well, this is my opinion. This is Lisa's. And I said, she said, well, it, it's, it's hard to know. I said, Lisa, take a stab at it. She is the fussiest person <laughs> ever. She said, if I had to take a stab at it, I would say they're on the small size. Oh, I'm not good at telling stuff like that. So, well, you need to... I like this one. You need to look away. I'm about to pull out a dead fish. Okay. <laughs> I will avert my eyes. That's Sometimes... never good when you... Someone, oh, what pretty fish. Oh, well, you got a dead one there. Oh, wow, that's a large, large dead one. What do you reckon that is? Oh, it's one of the sharks? I don't know. No, I only had two. I think it's a molly. Oh, you had a really, really old looking molly in there, I remember. Yeah. And I don't see it. I don't see him anymore. He was old though. Yeah. It was like the crustiest, oldest molly I've ever seen. Yeah. That was probably it. Uh, at and least we normally, at least we know it was from old age. Yep. Yeah, normally I would feed them to my oscar or the flower horn, but as Lisa said, uh, that might not be a good idea because you might be, might be feeding that fish and it be a diseased fish. You oh, want to feed a, oh yeah, if it's already dead. You saw my new datnoid, right? I feed him some of my spare guppies sometimes. in one night making the rack changes. or water change oh my water goodness changes. oh my gosh that's a lot I started at like two in the afternoon and it took me about four hours mm. that's a lot for the tank with my datnoid but I don't know 
Are they mean? Are flower horns mean to fish that are big like them? Well, you certainly got to keep them by himself. He can't be with any other fish that are big, like the same size? Well, they, they can. Depends. Depends on what what you're putting in there. I've been reading about peaceful predatory fish. So fish that will be peaceful with other fish that are the same size as them, but they're predatory on like little fish. Like oh, they'll okay. eat the little ones. Yeah, what? I'm trying to charge up my phone here, but the guy that sold me the phone. Um, I think I might have given you a full charger. If if I have, then I'll get you another one. That that one that I said was for sixty bucks. Yeah. He goes, this one I said is selling for two thousand. Oh my back. gosh. How much will my brother give me? So. 2000 VAT? Is that v Vietnam? Uh, that's um, Thailand. Thailand, okay. So that's basically... Um, oh. So that's I good. Said, okay, uh, do me videos, brother. <laughs> and he said, wait, brother. So we're getting... We're going to get some off him and he'll be cheaper. Okay. So, and we're waiting on the videos. Eh? And we're waiting on the videos of that? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm trying to work it out. Because I was talking to Lisa and I said, pick your fish because I need to place the order and um, know what we're getting. So. You picked one from this guy. The one you picked, I I told the guy that we'll have both. But the one behind it is similar to the one you picked. And so I think that'll be nice. Yeah. I like all the ones you send me. Yeah. It's I hard know. for me to choose. I'm for Unfortunately, you can't buy everything, right? Well, I could, but I'd have to resell it for more expensive to be yeah. able to uh, afford it. Yep. And then I don't get to keep it, so. Yeah. I like his eyes. And, well, I knew he went on side of it then. And this guy. Really love that guy. I love these blue eyes. Have you bred him yet? No. I love that. Yeah. He normally flares up at you. I have one that flares when you put the flashlight near him, which is weird. It's an all white one. And when I put the flashlight on him, I think he can see his reflection in the glass and he yeah. flares. These ones you might like because they're normally sitting up on that cupboard. I'll bring it around. Where do you get these containers from? Um, Amazon. You want some? Oh yeah, they're looking perky. Yeah. He flared at me as soon as I came over to see him. Well, if you want to get him with a flare, use the old... No, do this. Oh, is that looks like a little bit of fish? Yeah. Oh, they hate it. <laughs> That's cute. Some of them all. Oh, they recognize it too. Yeah, let him. He wants to fight it. That's cute. <laughs> it's actually a key ring. I got a bunch of them. I don't, it's so weird. They can actually recognize that it's a key ring though. He's gorgeous. A 
and you got the ones up the top. Did you want, I got someone coming today, but because you're here, think on it any longer because <laughs> Emily's coming and whatever you're not taking she's probably gonna take and I don't want to be pissed farting around with it over the weekend hey do you want to turn that light on for me while you're there this one it's on the yeah that side probably around where the um beanie box is yep got it and so I said, I don't want to be pissed farting around with fish over the weekend because I don't want fish taking up my weekend. Yeah. 